Okay, so today's video is about. I don't know why I come up with English name. Today's video was about um, me just asking some frequently asked questions on the internet. I got my list for you. So let's kick this off. What is the meaning of life? Hmm. Well, that's a difficult one and it is debatable because you know, like, I'm not the only human alive, so. I can't have, like, dominated opinion of, like, over everything that there is in life. But the, the meaning of life, like, life itself, I think that's just, like, I think it's up, up to you. Like, and in, and I think every individual person should find their own meaning of life. I don't believe there should be one written down, like, answer to that because I don't think it's set in stone what the meaning of life is because no one's ever been able to answer it and I don't think anyone ever will. I think everyone has their own purpose in life, their own like hopes and dreams and all that shit isn't it? So it's probably just you know like um, just figure it out for yourself just find your own mean meaning of life. I know like some people believe they have a destiny and they have like a purpose in life that's that's what your meaning of life is is whatever purpose you've set for yourself like um some people say it's my destiny to play the guitar it's my destiny to be a doctor it's my destiny to do this and do that that's your meaning of life you found your meaning of life your purpose in life is your meaning of life is what you were born to do okay isn't violence sometimes necessary, for example, in self-defense or to defend those who cannot defend themselves? No, that's bullshit. Uh, violence is never necessary. Violence is never the right answer. I don't believe that if you have an argument with someone, punching them in the face is going to prove anyone's point any further. I think it's just a waste of your own energy, your own stamina, and to be honest, you're not helping the other person to prove a point, you're just hurting their you literally are hurting their feelings by just hitting them to prove a point. It's just pathetic. If you're fighting someone who is like beating up someone who can't defend themselves, then the person who can't defend themselves should not have got into that situation where they get into a fight. Or the person who's trying to beat up the person who can't defend themselves shouldn't be so pathetic. If anything, just pull them off the person who can't defend themselves and then just have a go on for being just a twat. And if it's in self-defense, like they started a fight with you, then just do what you got to do, but don't kill anyone, basically. Do it. If you're just defending yourself, then I'd rather defend myself in a verbal battle than in a physical one. But me personally, if someone was trying to beat me up and I, I'd have to try and defend myself, Personally, I don't believe you should defend yourself in a fight because the more bruises you have, the more lawsuits they're going to have. The easy way out is just to make them pay. Seriously, make them pay through the nose. If they, I believe if they break your face, you should break their wallet. Okay. So, is there life after death? Um, I'm, I shouldn't be allowed to answer this because I have my own beliefs and, um, I was actually warned in my horoscope, that another form of belief, irony, I was actually warned in my horoscope not to get into a discussion about my beliefs, but um, I believe there is life after death and I believe we all have like a further purpose than to just born, live and die. I believe we're all born to die because there's nothing fucking happening. It's just born, you live, you die. That's basically it. Whatever happens in between is just up to you. But um, between life, between the start of life and the end of your life, I think that's more important than what happens afterwards. You'll, I think it's like your life should be like a film. In the beginning, you're born, so that's the start of the film. At the end of the film, that's the end credits. Whatever happens after the end credits, no one really cares about. They get up and walk out the cinema. So if you want to do a behind the scenes thing, like you know morph into a ghost or you know find some other purpose in life than to just die and get buried then that's up to you innit? it depends who you are as a person I believe I think it's like um, 
some people i think it's that i believe that thing about you know if you haven't got if you got unfinished business then like you know you could come back as a ghost you could just sort it out then you know but if you've seen like those rescue mediums they just they don't really rescue anyone they just sort of help ghosts like fuck off basically so if you are if you do come back as a ghost or if there is life after death like an afterlife or like i suppose you I mean it could be like um if you're in like limbo or something i think the only life after death you'd ever get is in limbo because once you go to heaven you're dead and i don't think you you would be physically or spiritually aware of your surroundings or if you went to hell i don't think you'd be physically or spiritually aware of your surroundings so that's not technically life without because you haven't got a soul when you die your soul leaves you so i don't think you can do anything after you die because you wouldn't be aware of it at all there's no conscience in you there's no soul there's no life so there can't be life after death per se in scientific terms but you would be stuck in some sort of if you were stuck in some sort of limbo i think this is back to the ghost thing i think it's just like if you were a ghost after you died you'd be stuck in limbo sort your life out and then you go up or down whatever way the elevator wants to roll Okay, um, that was, well, that's basically, that's just my beliefs. Don't take that as word of law, because I, I talk some shit sometimes. And I watch too many films. If a tree falls in a forest and no one is nearby, does it make a sound? Okay, for a start, that question is going to be tipexed by the no one is nearby, because that's bullshit. Whoever wrote that question is very much mistaken. The actual question you want to ask is if a tree falls in a forest and no one is around to hear it does it make a sound otherwise the set the sentence won't make sense because if no one is nearby that's an effect at all just the same but if no one is around to hear it and you're putting the word hear it with the word sound that means there's something to be connected in the sentence so if no one is around to hear it does it make a sound but if nobody's around to hear it and a tree falls in the forest, I don't think, I think it would still make a sound, but I don't think it's affected by whether or not you can hear or whether or not you stood near the tree at the time. I don't think it's affected at all. It's, it will still make a sound whether you're there or not. It doesn't really care. It's, um, it's an inevitable thing. It's like we can't pick the sounds that things make, but they, everything makes will make a sound. Can you step into the same river twice? I don't really know. I think it's... Mm, it's kind of a difficult question. Because it's like... Once you've stepped into a river... It wasn't the same river it was before. Because I doubt... You might be the first person to step in that river. So it's never going to be the same river every time you step in it. Because there's always going to be something else in there changing the course of the river. So it could be... an a different river by say like you know how many people have stood in it in between that time or like you know it's never going to be the same river depending on circumstance is there a god in my eyes no but you could check out my last video just to sort that out if you see why i believe why i believe um but i i believe if you believe in a god then there must be one. You know, I think everyone should have something to believe in, and it's like, you know, I wouldn't tell, like, a little kid who believed there was a god that there wasn't a god. Because if they believe it, they believe it. I believe in aliens, and I wouldn't want to be dictated about my beliefs, but I've had many rants about me not believing in god, because in my eyes, I don't believe there's such a thing as a god. I don't believe such a thing as any god. I don't believe in gods at all. Because I reckon there's just like a load of shit. That whole dominant species thing is just shit. I actually don't. I, I don't believe there can be a god. Because I think that we could all be gods if there was one. Like sort of like a thing. I don't know. But then again it's depending. That's if your argument is if god is human. But you know if he's meant to be a god. He's a god. And a god is like a different form of something. So you know. I don't reckon there's a god, but I believe you should just believe whatever you want to believe in. So, if you believe there's a god, there's a god. If you don't believe there's a god, there's not a god. Don't get in arguments about it because you'll be there all day and you'll drink shitloads of coffee through the nights to get through it. 
Who am I? Hmm. Human. That's all I'm gonna say. I have no answers to that who am I shit. Because it's like, again, that's one of those... It's one of those topics, they have like a list of topics you shouldn't go into in a debate. Religion, uh, politics, science, and that whole who we are, where are we going? Is it life after death? Like that. Because you could be around for a while explaining your point of view. And it, at the end, it's pointless. No one ever gets anyway. It's like, you know, with... Um, especially religion and science. They, their views are just fucked up. So, um, who am I? Just another human being. You're... You're 101. Instead, you're not... You, no one is one in a million as a person. That everyone is 101. Everyone's just another link in the chain. That's not saying you're not worth anything. I'm just saying you are who you are. So, you know? Who are you? Like, depending on who you... Who's asking. It's just, it depends... Yeah, that's what I mean. It depends on who's asking. Who am I just relates to who you are. So it's, you know... You are who you are. You are who you want to be. No one can tell you who you are. How should we live? Um... Uh, I think there should be more neighbourliness about people. Um, how should we live? I think there are three things that would get me by in life. And I think that's... Um, don't talk with your mouth full. Don't bite the hand that feeds you. And live and let live. Live and let live is just, um, I think it's a Buddhist term that means, like, it's basically, it's sort of like the Christian thing. It's like, basically, treat others as you want to be treated. If you if you slap someone across the face, be prepared to get slapped back. And, um, don't bite the hand that feeds you. It, I don't, I think it's basically, um, don't have a go at someone who's looking after you, maybe. It's like, I think it's like, sort of, with me, I do prayers, don't argue with my, with my parents. This is like, don't bite the hand that feeds you. It's like, don't take liberties of people who are actually doing you some good. Um, da -da -da -da. What was the other one I said? Oh, don't talk with your mouth full. Yeah, that's basically a rule for everyone. Just don't talk with your mouth full. It's gross. Okay. So that's all the questions for this thing. And it's been like 30 minutes, so... See you next week, or whatever I'm excited to post again. Doodles!